those who fell in battle, as well as veterans who returned home, many of whom contributed greatly to World War I. Importing the flowers was not easy and took a long time, so the VFW members came up with a better idea. Disabled and hospitalized veterans made paper flowers shipped out to members for distribution. To this day, the VFW pays these men and women for the poppies, providing them a little something for a few luxuries that make hospital life more tolerable. Eventually, households up and down the street began ensuring that their American flag was flown for Memorial Day. Now, everybody gets the day off from school and work. Malls are flooded with Memorial Day sales. Barbecue season officially begins today for many. But those of us who remember the importance of this American tradition, Memorial Day, gather here to honor our fallen veterans and the sacrifices they made. Saratoga is one place where the initial ideals of Memorial Day continue to thrive, and not just on the last Monday in May. In 1919, Memorial Arch was designed and built as a tribute to the Saratoga men who gave their lives in military service during World War I. It is significant that we began our observations this morning in Blaine Park, where the inscription in the upper left of Memorial Arch pertains to us now and serves to inspire all who will read it. Saratoga dedicates this park to the honor of its citizenship, which serves re without reward the common good. Our town has a long tradition of honoring all who serve, on fields of fog or right here in our community. In 1928, the Saratoga Foothill Club began coordinating the community event we still have today, gathering residents to honor our fallen soldiers. The numbers grew with World War II, the Korean conflict, Vietnam, the Gulf Wars, and even 9-11. Each year, Saratoga Boy Scouts mark the grave of each veteran with an American flag. 4-H members and Girl Scouts assemble laurel sprays and place these symbols of enduring peace near those flags. The music departments of Redwood Middle School and Saratoga High School pay tribute with their talents. These acts have been passed on from one generation to the next over the years and have become a meaningful tradition in our community. For me, Memorial Day is a tradition I look forward to every year because my grandfather, uncle, and father are all veterans and since it matters so much to them to honor their fallen comrades, it matters to me too. When I participated in my first Memorial Day celebration 11 years ago, it was because my grandmother was on the Foothill Club committee and dragged my sister and me to assemble laurels even though we were not in Girl Scouts yet. I found myself looking up to the elder Girl Scouts for help and guidance about what to do and why we were doing this in the first place. Plus, the lemonade and cookies that the ladies brought were really good. <laughs> now, I am the one who helps the younger Girl Scouts, and I enjoy teaching them why this Saratoga tradition is so important. These men and women sacrifice their lives for all the freedoms our American democracy stands for, and the least I can do is help a little brownie Girl Scout understand why making a laurel spray for a veteran's grave honors someone we never even met. When we continue our Memorial Day traditions, it is a small gesture of gratitude, but it is better than none at all. There are more than 800 veterans buried here in the Madronius Cemetery, and each one of them is a person with an interesting life story. Take some time to walk around following the ceremony, looking at the markers and talking to friends and family members who are here. Please just treat each site with respect in keeping with today's American honor and Saratoga tradition. Thank you to all who have served in our armed forces and kept our freedoms alive, and to those who gave their lives so we could live ours, you are never forgotten.